Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines brought to you by Vantage. Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Financial Digest. Binance Exchange, the largest cryptocurrency trading platform by trading volume, is set to delist all Cardano and Polygon perpetual contracts this week, a move driven by a regulatory clampdown by the recent U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The U.S. is likely to produce more crude oil in 2023 than originally expected, the U.S. Energy Information Administration said after several companies broke production records in the second quarter. Global investors are losing confidence in securities linked to shares of companies in the world's geopolitical hotspot, investors and analysts said, after Moscow moved to delist Russian depository receipts from foreign exchanges in retaliation for Western sanctions over the war in Ukraine. The oil fell 0.5% against the dollar in the last trading session. The ROC is giving a negative signal. The pound-dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. The ROC is giving a negative signal. The Bitcoin-dollar pair gained 0.2% in the last session, after rising as much as 1.2% during the session. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal. The gold fell 0.3% against the dollar in the last trading session. According to the Ultimate Oscillator, we are in an oversold market. The UK's claimant count change will be released at 0600 hours GMT. Germany's ZEW survey, current situation, at 0900 hours GMT. The Eurozone's ZEW survey, economic sentiment, at 0900 hours GMT. Japan's industrial production will be released at 0430 GMT. The US export price index at 1230 GMT. The UK's employment change at 0600 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Tuesday's financial report. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.